This screencast describes some of the projects in the book Crazy Shapes, which is the third book in the Model Metrics Advanced series. In the first project I'm going to describe, we'll create a striped beach ball. We start in a file that has the axes showing, the blue, green, and red axes. This is so that we can base our geometry at the origin, which is right here where the three axes meet. To create a sphere, we need to start with two circles. So we activate the circle tool, place the center of the circle at the origin, and make a flat circle on the ground. The next circle has to be vertical, but if you drag your cursor around the ground plane, the preview color is blue, which means it'll be flat. If you move your cursor up here, it'll be red or green. We want it to stay red, so we press the shift key, move the cursor back down, and it stays in the red direction. Place the center at the origin and make this circle smaller than the first one. Now we'll use the Follow Me tool to create the sphere. We first have to select the Follow Me path, which will be the larger circle. So activate Select, and you can click either the face or the edge of the circle. Next you click the Follow Me tool, which is this right here, and then click the smaller circle. This creates your sphere. To make the stripes on the sphere, we'll copy the circle around in a circular pattern and where those copied circles hit the sphere, you'll get your stripes. But before we can do that, we'll make this flat circle into a group. And the reasons for that I will explain in a little bit. To make this a group, you activate the Select tool, double-click this circle, which selects the face and its edges, right-click on it, and choose Make Group. Now you see the circle is surrounded by a blue bounding box. This group is going to be copied, so we will leave it selected. The next step is to switch to wireframe view. That's this icon right here. Now we can easily see the origin, which we're going to need as a reference point when we copy the group. Activate the rotate tool, and just like when you use the move tool to make a copy, you can use the rotate tool to make a copy as well when you press your control key, or the option key if you're using a Mac, which adds a little plus sign to your cursor. We'll center the copy at the origin, and we'll make the first copy 180 degrees away, which just makes a flipped copy. Then to space six copies in between, we type in six, the slash sign, and enter. And now we have six copies of this group. Then we'll click the Shaded with Textures icon to bring back the faces, and this is what we have. We don't need to see the axes anymore, so to turn them off, you can select View, Axes. Now to make the stripes, we need to find out where all of these cutting groups intersect with the sphere. So right-click on the sphere, choose Intersect, and then Intersect with Model. Now it may be hard to see with the, all of these cutting groups showing, but now you have edges created at the intersections of all of these groups. Now we can see why using groups was so handy, because it's time to erase them all. Here's the eraser tool. To erase a group, you click anywhere on the group, and the whole thing disappears. If these were not groups, it would have been a little bit more complicated to erase them. Once all of the groups are gone, you have your ball, with your stripes. To paint it, you can open the materials window, pick some colors that you like. I'm using alternating colors. And here you have your striped beach ball. Here are some other patterns you can create when you start with a sphere and add some circle groups. When you copy your circles in this sort of pattern, you can get a checkerboard on your sphere. A copied pattern like this will give you this sort of crisscross pattern on your sphere. And when you copy your circle group like this, you can get circle stripes in three different directions. My personal favorite is this one, in which you start with a sphere and then take a hexagon and the offset tool to make your intersection groups. Here are some of the other projects that appear in the Crazy Shapes book. 
You can make a bowl with a wavy pattern, and just like you did with the spheres, you use cutting groups to make the stripes. You can take overlapping boxes, make them into components, and trim them and give them some zebra stripes. And you can make interlocking stacking blocks. If you want to create these and other projects that use interesting geometry, all of the details to all of the projects are found in the book Crazy Shapes, which is the third book in the Model Metrics Advanced series. For information about these projects and all other Model Metrics projects, and to see resources for parents, teachers, and kids, please visit www.3dvinci.net. Thanks for watching.